Hello everybody. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Steve coming back with another video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that earlier segment of the game introduction. And from what we'll be doing in this series is actually going through the second series of the game hacking, which is basically the Spelunker game, um, the one I've been wanting to get to, and checking out the hacks. Now I've already broken these down on the website, so we'll just basically be using those in succession. And also, maybe in the future, just to kind of give some information, I may be coming back on Twitch very soon as I've actually hooked my high-speed internet back up. But that's a long story. Okay, let's get started. Okay, guys, so we are back on the desktop, and here I've got the Spelunker thing kind of loaded up here for you. I'm just uh, showing the, um, the main kind of screen here, introduction screen here, and I'll just kind of scroll through it here a little bit. You just hit the space bar and it kind of just gives introduction about the Splunker if you want to kind of read that. Um, basically, you're this um, guy caught in a mine and you got to go through and, you know, avoid these obstacles and try to get to the pyramids while picking up treasures and stuff. And it shows you the controls of the game. Pretty standard. Some of the keys in the game, you can use F to send up players, that's at the bats. Um, D is for dynamite. And there's the kind of accumulation of the score you can receive. And space is actually, they call it the fan, is where you're actually fanning the ghost that's coming at you. Here's the objects in the game, the energy, dynamite, flare, keys, and magic dust. Plus other treasures. And you can see the shortcut keys there at the top. Okay. So I'm going to pause out to get this loaded. So here's kind of the introduction screen. Um, not going to hear any music because I, I guess I could. Turn. There's the music. And it's got like a little introduction demo, of course. For those who haven't seen Spelunker before. Pretty much it, and then it kind of kicks into the demo. And entering the elevator. This is me actually playing the game now, so we're going to get ready to some game hacks here. Okay, so we should now be on the website c64brain.com and you should be looking at the, um, the hack screen I created for the Spelunker here. So I'm not going to go ahead and read all this. You can read this later if you want. It's just kind of introducing it. But this is going to be important here. Um, this shows you actually how I did the hack for those who may not know. I actually copied the code directly from Regenerator, and let me show you Regenerator here. Okay, so this is Regenerator here, and this is what I used to copy. I basically just went in and I hit Control A, for example, and you see a highlighting like that. I don't know if you're gonna see this, but if I right click on here, there's gonna be one here for Copy Full. You won't see it over here, of course. And that will allow me to copy all the code, you know, that's currently, you know, in memory here, so. Once we have the code copied, we just kind of move back to the Excel environment. And I just noticed I don't have my Excel up, so let me get that up. Okay, so hopefully you see my Excel window. And what I did is I've already copied all the code in here currently. Um, it just copies it straight down in the cells here. And then I hit Control F for find. And I type in deck, that's for decrement, if I want to search through decrement. And I actually can't enlarge that so you can see it any better. You hit options. Well, you hit it the first time it opens up a window here. And then you hit find all. And instantly it searches through here. And in the window here, 
now shows you all the decrements that are available in the actual program. So all I have to do is go through here. Um, now I can't copy these out, so I can't easily make this a simple fix or a simple hack. I have to actually go through manually and write these out. And then I have to go through these one by one and kind of play with them. Basically, I'm going in the code and I'm tweaking them. And I'm looking at the code and kind of seeing maybe what that example might be doing. I can see that this one is just basically reading the DK cycle control. So it's basically controlling the audio. It's not controlling anything to do with the actual game or hacks or something of any importance that I really want to bother with. This one itself, you can see its background color. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it's showing. So let's get back to the game. And also just get back to the screen here. I'll just minimize here. Now the first hack I've actually discovered like any game would be how to go ahead and add more lives to your game player. And you can see here in this example, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Zoom if it'll let me zoom in. There we go. So just can get a little bit better view there. You can see it's set to 4A, B1, and that's the one I had Regenerator pointing to earlier. That shows that that's where the first hack is going to begin at. So let's go ahead and switch back over to what's actually called the monitor inside of our emulator window here, our vice. Okay, we are back on the screen. Oh, wait. Okay, good thing now those two monitors. See what's going on. Okay, so now we're in the vice monitor here and we're situated at 41B1 and something's not right here. Okay, so I had the wrong code earlier. So anyways, I've highlighted the area of interest, which is 4AB1. And this is going to be the area that we're going to focus on. You can see here it's showing um, up to the RTS, which is the end of the subroutine. Um, there's three, so technically there's three statements here. We have load the accumulator immediate value of a hex value of 50. And store it in the hex of 80, decrement hex of 40, and of course return off. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on the 4AB5 right there. And we're going to be changing that. Since decrement 40 is currently taking away the lives, we're going to change it to something like 39 so it doesn't interfere with our current counter. So let's get that started. Okay, so down below I'm going to assemble that inside of the vice monitor here. You can see my cursor hopefully down there. There's barely any room down here, but I have a little A down here. I think I'm going to move my screen down a little bit more. This vice monitor is very small, so you really have to kind of squeeze it in the screen here and everything. I think that'll work there. So at the very bottom here, you can see where I'm typing it down here. That's kind of where I'll be at. So assemble for A, and then we're going to assemble the memory location we're focusing on, which is 4AB5 for the decrement 40. We're going to set it DEC, and we use something like 39 since they're usually like 40. And that should give us infinite lives now. Now, if you want to make sure it's still active, you can just go to 4AB1, and you can see it was entered into memory right there. 4AB5. Okay, let's go back to the game in progress. All you're really doing is you're going into Vice Monitor, and you're just basically exiting out. At the top here, there's a little X. You can't see it. Well, you probably can see it up here if I um, expanded it more. Um, but there's an X up here at the top that you're exiting out of. Okay, so we are back in the game, and you can see me playing the game now. I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit of playing here. And actually, let me get the music back on for entertainment purposes, right? You have to go. I got used to playing this game, so. Oops. I'm also trying to play from a left-handed screen here, so it's a little bit difficult at the moment. It'll take me a moment to get used to it. I have to say I'm much better than I was. So we're going to basically kill our player here in a minute. First, I want to kind of advance a little bit further ahead here, so... Like doing Twitch streaming, huh? There's the bat. I have hacked him too. I think I'm not used to the sound or something. I 
haven't seen the ghost yet. They call a spook. Oh, give me a break. Oh, today's my first death. Move on to the next one. How's that sound? Okay, so this next one is really interesting. It actually allows you to hack into the game timer speed, which basically controls the raster timing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. And again, if you want to read through this on the website, you can. But down here, we're going to go to 2C3E. So let's go into our monitor and get that started. Okay, so we are back in the vice and I am going to disassemble the correct register, which is 2C3E for the timer. And to explain this to you, um, essentially this line here for 2C42, as you can see on the screen here, um, is what, and actually let me switch back over here. Just realized you were looking at that one. Um, Let's zoom in here a little bit. Try to zoom in so you can see it better. So 2C3E, that increments through the timer. I do believe it increments through the timer. And then the next line down here, it's the one that's actually checking, actually increment BA is probably something different. Um, load to cumulator seven is the one that's incrementing through the timer. And we're changing the value of and to kind of um, change the timing and the game speed. And we'll have some fun with that right now. So let's get back to the monitor here and we're going to go ahead and swap it out now the more you increase it the more things will slow down so let's uh, give you an example here I'll assemble 2c42 and then we'll set it to like um, n28 I think that was one of the examples I used yep n28 and we'll go ahead and close that out and get back okay so also you may have not known it but the game has been running the entire time and my infinite lives is definitely working. Can you see things slowing down already? See, look at them. You can see things here. I'll go back here, actually, show you. You'll see some other things here. Look at the, up here at the top where this is at. You can see that this is slowing down, this little um, flame thing or lava thing. So it won't slow your character down, but it slows down various things in the game. Uh, the escalator is apparently managed by something else but you can see that everything is kind of slowing itself down here and then we'll look down here and you'll see some more things and that's about all I really discovered on that one I don't really think you can still see things are kind of still slowing down though and this does make the game a little bit easier to play in general because um and actually, it's going to a little bit harder because if you got to jump over one of those things, you're going to die. Let me turn the sound back on. I keep forgetting to turn it back on. Oh, I hate this part. Okay, so let's go back to the code again. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to reverse up. Do the reverse, and we're going to speed up the timing even even more instead of slowing it down this time. So we're just going to repeat 2C42 for the assemble. And I think I can do 0, 0. Let me try that. Okay, so you can probably see that the game is playing a little bit faster than usual. It's actually pretty hard to play it now. See the advantage of slowing everything down, right? I can get through this thing without dying. Okay, so we'll set the game to a regular timer and we'll move on to the next hack. Okay, so for the next hack, we are going to try to increase the gravity fall of our player. You notice in Splunker, one of the most annoying things is whenever you drop them off a cliff, which I'll demonstrate here. Oh, actually, I'm in the emulator. So whenever you drop them off a cliff here, like so, he'll die part way down the screen. Now, I found a way to actually increase his gravity. So let's see if we can get that going here. Okay, guys, I thought you might find this hack actually useful. Although I couldn't figure out how to get the gravity one working, I did find something different here. Watch this as I 
continue to move my player here and I jump, his gravity is suddenly affected and he's going up the screen. <laughs> He does some really weird stuff here and I can't get him to go back down until he dies. If I get him inside of here, I can kind of like float in here. See? He's kind of floating inside there. But if he goes up there, he's going to die again. Uh oh. He got stuck. Oh, there he is. So he'll die if he falls there again. So I'm going to try to go down because I can move down and see if I can get past like this one here. Oh, I missed it. Uh, he's stuck again. Okay, I could probably have to go down further because it gets stuck. See, it's doing some wonky stuff here, huh? It's also changed some of the graphics on the screen. I just noticed that. <coughs> And that could have just been me. I was playing with some other stuff earlier, so I'm probably sure something else has gone weird. That's so weird how he goes up the ladder. He dies. <laughs> so apparently that affects his gravity. Want me to get him back down? Okay, I'm going to try to jump in here. does different weird stuff as you continue to play with it. This is probably like my favorite one yet. Look at that. There he goes. He's bouncing. Ever seen Splunker do that before? Oh, look. It turned into the thing. Like he was riding the elevator thing. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I'll show you how I did that one here. Okay, so I'm back here. So you can see um, this line right here it starts at 45B3. And I'll just highlight that right there. Right there. And this is the hack I did earlier. This line right here, increment 9A, seems to control the gravity. So if we set that back, our player should go back to normal. So let's set it back to the normal thing, 45B8. And I'm just reversing it. It was set to decrement, which would basically be the fall. Instead, I set it back. Well, it was set to decrement, it increased it to increment. Now I moved, moved it back to decrement, so it's handling the fall. Back in device monitor, and we're looking at register 45B8. And this is the one we changed earlier. So if we set that back, which it is currently set back here, I had to reset the game. It's normal. So I'll, I'll run the game just. Okay, you can see it's kind of running normal, and everything as I jump, you don't see him flying all over the screen. Now let's go back and change that. Okay, so I'm back in the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and say assemble 45B8. And we're going to increment 9A. Instead of making him fall, he should go up the screen now. So it should be that crazy hack again. Earlier, though, I had... So earlier, I had to reset the game because it got stuck and I, I couldn't get him to stop bouncing around. Okay, he's bouncing around again there. So... Hopefully I can stop it before it gets out of control. Go back to the monitor and we'll reset it back. 45B8. Let's see if that fixes it. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, weird. Oh, it stuck him up here. Look at that. Where is he at now? He's like, you can't even see him. He's like way at the top here. See? As I move, the screen kind of comes into view, but that's weird. I'm trying to get over it without dying. I can't see what I'm doing. It's weird. And then I die right there. How nice. All right, don't die this time. Okay, I'm on the ladder. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know where I am. Oh, you know what? Let's go on to the next hack, which is the bat hack. So here you see on the screen the bat coordinates, and you can see an example of the bat flying there. So we go down here to this line for 3, 4, 6, 7, and we can go ahead and implement what's basically a really quick position moving the bat very quickly across the screen. So I said, in order to do this, I need to change 3, 4, 60 to something like decrement 58. So let's do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've typed in my December 3, 4, 6, 7. Hit enter. And the line we're focusing on is 346D. So once again, it's this line right here. We're going to change that to a decrement to reverse the direction of the bat, which does some funky things to it. Watch this. What's that? 346D, decrement, I think 5B was okay. Yep, I had decrement 5B, so that should do it right there. Okay, so I'm back in the game. I'm going to jump over this, and here comes the bat. Watch this. Where is he at? See how fast he's moving? He doesn't drop him immediately in the same spot every time now, so it's a little bit easier to get by. Although I stalled there for a second. So I can actually get by him now without dying. He's not stuck in one spot anymore, but he does kind of drop him all over the crazy places on the screen. So you got to kind of watch out. Um, for those who didn't learn this hack, well, this isn't a hack, but this is a trick you can do with the Spelunker. Go over here if you don't know how to... Oh, they got me. Okay. So anyways, go over here, and you just keep jumping until you get to the top. Oops, I missed that. But that's the hack right there. Oh, he's coming back again. Now, I did do some strange things with the ghost too, but I won't go into it right here, really. I basically wasn't able to really make him disappear, and for goodness sake, I wish he would go away. I've increased his time to come back every time. Okay, let's see here. So you can go up like this. See, every time he falls. So I'm trying to go straight up on this one without jumping on the other one. He wants to jump on that one. Okay, so see what I did? I turned on my hack and now I'm a level above. Okay, now that I'm up there, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that hack back off. Okay, so we are going to go back to 45B8. Now that we got him back where he wants him and put it back to 9A, that should do it. Please don't kill me after all this. Oh, great. Oh, my elevator's gone. Okay, I'll turn my... I guess we can kind of call that a day, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the hack on one more time. Just for the end of the day. Okay, so I turned my hack back on. Check it out. Oh boy. I'm trying to see if I can get back to where I was. Oh no, I'm stuck. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed this um, hacking adventure of Spelunker. <laughs> yeah, that's some crazy stuff when you start playing with the whole game. Now there's a lot of better hacks I could have showed you, but I ran out of time to really kind of go into a lot more. And I would probably discovered about 20 to 30 different good hacks in this game. A lot of them is basically changing the backgrounds and stuff like that. But some of the positioning of, you know, characters and stuff like that. 
The gravity one I did have accomplished earlier, but I think I had changed a couple of different subroutines and eventually I had it where he would fall from the top all the way to the very bottom without dying. But then of course, once he fell, he was stuck in gravity mode and you couldn't even move around. So it's kind of weird. But I thought that last one I just figured out was actually kind of interesting too. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Um, please uh, continue to get those subscriptions going and we'll be back on track eventually with um, the marathon really soon. I'm also running an Atari website right now, so I'm a pretty busy person. So thanks for your um, thanks for your time. Have a good night.